Okay, so Linda Jo asked a question. She wants to know, do Harry and Meghan just want to rub the royal family's nose in it? I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, you know, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. You know, I have to tell you, this isn't my thinking at all. Not, not even in a little bit. But, uh, Linda Joe, thank you for asking the question. So, are Harry and Meghan just wanting to rub the family, royal family's nose in it? I'm not sure exactly what they want to rub it in. Maybe their success being away from the royal family. Um, their escape. I don't know. It's just it seems like a lot of trouble. I don't know why they'd want to rub their noses in that. But, we'll just pull the cards on that and see what it says. And also, Linda Joe says, is it Charles's fault? So, that's what we'll do. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, who's asking this question? Linda Joe. Thank you very much, Linda Joe. Linda Joe wants to know do Harry and Meghan want to rub the royal family's noses in it, and is Charles at fault? Do they want to rub their noses in it? That's interesting. And is Charles at fault? I think I might try keeping that up here instead of down there. So, do Harry and Meghan want to rub the royal family's noses? In it, whatever that means, and uh, so this will be a full uh, Celtic cross. Do Harry and Meghan want to rub the full the royal noses in it? So the six first six cards will be that, and then the last cards will be about Charles. Before we do any of it, let's have a little bit of meditation. Okay. Do they just want to rub the royal family's noses in it? I don't know. Do they just want to rub the royal family's noses in it? It's a terrible expression. Linda Joe, shame on you. Um, so let's see. Let's do the first six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. The question presumes a very um, ugly position uh, for the Sussexes. And I don't know that that's a good way to start, but that's what you asked. So the signifier card, do Meghan and Harry just want to rub the no royal family's noses in it? Signifier card then is the King of Swords. So again, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The King is upholding all of that. It looks like this is their intention. This is their intention, to uphold Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The challenge to that uh, with the High Priestess. Well, the High Priestess comes to us with every bit of truth and and or knowledge uh, that uh, uh, that we need at the moment. She's holding the Torah. She's very serene. She stands between uh, strength and knowledge, and uh, which are the two columns here. So it looks like this is a very noble cause and not a rubbing your nose kind of cause. Uh, the basis of this reading then is the Ace of Pentacles, value. Okay, so this starts out with a great big offer of value. And so I believe they may think that what they're um, exposing here is, is valuable to them. The past of this reading is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is happy family. Okay, so th this tells us where we're coming from. We're coming from a position of harmonious family. A lot of passionate uh, reward. In the sky of this reading, with the Queen of Swords, this is again, this is just backing up that King of Swords, the Queen of Swords. I think this is Harry and this is Meghan. Okay, they're fighting for their truth, their justice, their rules, their law. And then the likely outcome of all of this is judgment. Okay, so yeah, there will be judgment in the end that will decide uh, who is uh, is good and who's bad. But uh, since we're talking about Harry and Meghan, I would say that judgment comes, I don't know if it's all against to them or against to the uh, monarchy. So we need another four cards. Remember to try and filter out your biases. Okay, we don't want the cards to read what we want them to read. We want the cards to say what they have to say. So four, and so these last four cards I said would deal with George, uh, not George, with uh, Prince Charles. So 
The self of this question is, uh, is Charles at fault? Is, ah, broken heart. That's sad. So it looks like Charles, where's my pointer gone to? Oh, here it is. So Charles uh, is signified by a broken heart. That's sad. Um, the environment that that's in, however, is King of Cups. So King of Compassion, Emotion. Okay, that's fair. I'll, I'll give Charles that. The uh, hopes and the fears for all of this is the fool, this new journey. Of course, this is a perfect position for the fool to come out for this new journey to start out, especially when we're talking about Charles. Okay, this new journey. And the likely outcome to where Charles is at fault is the Nine of Cups. And again, the Nine of Cups is the, is the merchant who is proud to show all the emotional trophies that he's won. Okay, so I don't believe this speaks to Charles being at fault. This speaks to Charles's uh, what's on Charles's mind right now? Broken heart, uh, King of Cups, and uh, but let's read the whole thing over from the beginning. So the first part of this is: Do Harry and Meghan want to rub the royal family's nose in it? It's signified no. There's truth. There's justice, rules, and law. The king of that is what's at the center of all that. This must be Harry. The challenge to it is the high priestess holding the knowledge of what's um, of what's involved here. Okay, that's a very noble. Uh, position uh, to to have challenging your truth, justice, rules, and law. The base of this reading with the Ace of Pentacles is is understanding this whole thing comes out from a very valuable um, base. All right, and then the past of this is the Ten of Cups, which is happy family. Okay, rainbow, sunshine, and emotion, uh, uh, w emotional well being. So that's what's in the past. So I guess, and then the sky of this reading with the Queen of Swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. Looks like uh, it's the couple to be, Megan and Harry. Then the, uh, but the final outcome of this is the last judgment. And this is what will tell the tale. So uh, do they want to rub the royal's nose in it? I think they want there to be some judgment here for what's going on. Because we're already asking about them. Do they want? What do they want? What are they trying to do? This is what they're trying to do. Uh, then uh, for Charles, I said, is he at fault? Well, he's at fault for having a broken heart over what's happened. He's at fault for being a king of cups, of compassion, of emotion. Okay, he's, his, his emotions have always been on his sleeve, I think. Uh, he, the hopes and the fears, the, the fears and the hopes are this new journey that he'll be embarking on eventually. And then the uh, final outcome for the whole thing is a good one. It's uh, hope. It's uh, the wanting to display the emotional um, trophies that you've won along the way. So I think that all this is going to resolve itself in a happy way eventually if we live through the difficult uh, ripping off the band-aid that we're going through now. It's always a surprise. I never know what the cards are going to say. So thank you to Joe for the question. I hope that was sufficient. And um, no, we'll do it again later. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this, these are the new Paladini tarot. And David Paladini, um, you know, had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a, uh, a commission of doing uh, cards. And he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the tarot and decided to, uh, to make this new deck. And so um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Paladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They're just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like and uh, maybe they'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy if you want to buy some more cards or your first cards or you know I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like so that's why I do this new town new Paladini uh, tarot well I'm Mark this has been my journey through tarot I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go so stop on by ciao for now really make a big difference. Thank you.